It's not every day that we see something out of the ordinary in today's modern technological world. It's easy to forget that we live on a spectacularly biodiverse planet, full of life and mystery. If you look a little closer, dig a little deeper, you might just stumble upon a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three unique discoveries. Farmer discovers a glyptodon shell. Whilst walking along the banks of a stream on Christmas Day in 2015, farmer José Antonio Nievas in Argentina noticed a massive green and pebbly figure sticking out of the water. Unsure of what was in front of him, he did a little more investigation and excavation, only to realise he had uncovered a rare glyptodon shell. This shell belonged to a prehistoric armadillo. The glyptodon dated from around 5 million to 10,000 years ago. They originated from South America, however, before the land bridge formed connecting South and North America. In this time, a variety of species evolved, such as the terror bird and the saber-toothed tiger. To protect itself from these enemies, the glyptodon formed a hard shell of bone plates. It developed a deadly spike tail for defence. These giants haven't roamed the earth for over 10,000 years, but more and more Argentinians have been coming across their remains in recent years. In early 2020, another found was made by a cattle farmer, Juan de Dios Soto in Argentina. He stumbled over a family of these prehistoric armadillos while crossing the dried up riverbed of the Valamanca stream, and he discovered several fossil-like specimens. The regional drought revealed these mega mammals were previously submerged in the river. An on-site archaeologist stated, Myself and my team went to the location expecting to find two glyptodons. However, when the excavation started, a total of four was found. In this location, four glyptodons were found huddled next to each other, which is the biggest group of these fossils to ever be found. In this group of four, some of their bodies were smaller than others, suggesting two things. Either these animals are a family, or they experience sexual dimorphism, meaning gender determines the size of these animals. Once these fossils have been removed from the excavation site, they'll undergo further research to establish their age, gender, and perhaps the cause of extinction. Whilst the reason for the extinction of these animals is unknown, paleontologists are working with this discovery to create several hypotheses. The way four individuals passed away together under the same circumstance is very significant. This find can help experts come closer to determine the lifestyles of these animals and hopefully how and why they went extinct. Man found two million pounds of gold in a tank he bought for 30,000. Avid military vehicle collector Nick Mead always prepares himself for unique discoveries when he purchases such large pieces of war memorabilia, but he never expected a surprise quite as fortunate as this one. After Meade bought a Russian T-54-69 off a website for a restoration project, he began going through its contents with a mechanic friend, Todd Chamberlain. They decided to film themselves during this project just in case they found weapons and needed to provide any information to anybody. As they opened the diesel tank, they recovered five solid gold bars weighing 12 pounds. The gold itself is worth about two million pounds. Mead stated that he reacted how anyone would finding two million pounds. Complete shock. It's not something you can just take to the bank, therefore the police had to be called. The police have taken the tank into custody for investigation, while Mead has pocketed a receipt for his treasures. Even if he cannot keep the gold bars, he'll always have a one-of-a-kind war story tank. The two men believe the gold was looted by Iraqi soldiers during the Gulf War in the early 1990s. They likely drilled a hole in the fuel tank, then placed the gold inside for smuggling. Nick Mead has collected an astonishing 150 military vehicles over his lifetime, which he stores on his farm in Northamptonshire, England. He likely won't be giving up his hobby anytime soon after this exciting encounter. Scarabray 
a stone-built Neolithic settlement. Known as Northern Europe's best-preserved Neolithic village, Skara Bray remains one of the oldest and largest clusters of ancient homes. It was discovered during a windy storm in the winter of 1850 among the Skara Bray Hills in Orkney Islands, Scotland, England. As the storm winds ripped the grassy covering that hid the tops of the semi-subterranean settlement, the Skara Bray village was inhabited from roughly 3180 BC to about 2500 BC. This was before the Egyptian pyramids were built and before the construction of Stonehenge began, making it over 5,000 years old. While its age is incredibly significant, the quality of its preservation is even more remarkable. Due to its structure within the Scarabray Hills, the homes have been protected from degeneration. The houses of this Neolithic village are in impressive conditions, along with the furniture and tools inside the home. This is the only place in Northern Europe where you can see into the lives of our oldest ancestors through their actual establishments. The houses were built out of large, closely fitting stone slabs. They were connected by covered passage tunnels, used to make going house to house easier in the winter. Within these homes, each room had a stone dresser, likely used to hold tools and special possessions, two box beds, a central hearth, and two tanks dug into the ground, likely to store food. Archaeologists found a rich account of human history through the artefacts at this Neolithic village. Excavations included gaming dice, jewellery and beads, pottery, and carved objects. No weapons were found at the site, so the villagers appeared to live peaceful lives as fishers, farmers, and gatherers. One house in the village does not include a bed and dresser. Rather, it had a porch and niches on the wall, which suggested it may have been used for other endeavours as a workshop. Their tools, basic technology, and artistic creations suggest great sophistication among these early people. The village housed no more than a hundred people at a time, in ten separate buildings. Whilst the social structure is unknown, the village appeared to be a community. Wall carvings and art, in addition to burial sites and monuments nearby, signify religious ancestral values. Nobody is sure exactly why the village life ended, but it appears to have ended around 2500 BC. Some believe it was a sandstorm that engulfed their homes. Others believe the establishment was abandoned due to the soil's infertility and sand dunes advancement towards the homes. Today, Scarabray remains intact, but rising sea levels and eroding coastal lines due to climate change pose a threat to this village. The modern day problem is affecting an establishment that stood for over 5,000 years. As the ocean waves impacting the concrete protection walls of the village, However, efforts are underway to protect and strengthen the ruins. It's easy to just accept history books and look past new discoveries lying right below the surface, but humans don't have all the knowledge or experience to claim that all of history has been documented and accounted for. Whether it be from the natural world of prehistoric animals, the man-made world of warfare and wealth, or the earliest forms of human life, discoveries are constantly shaping the way we view the past, present and future. With the internet at our fingertips, sometimes it seems we have the ability to know everything. But a real and tangible world, full of life and mystery, exists out there. Parts of science and history remain untouched, just waiting to be discovered. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and help us by growing this community, whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.